Now we want to get to D.C., a city under siege, the out-of-control crime on the minds of many who live in the nation's capital. Residents and business owners speaking to Fox 5 for months now about their concerns and saying that they simply don't feel safe. But there's some help potentially on the way, a massive bill that gets tougher on violent crime. It's up for a vote tomorrow. And we have team coverage on this story. Fox 5's Aisha Khan joining us live from Northeast with the latest on this breakdown. Aisha, good morning. Hey there, good morning to you, Marissa. You know, over the weekend, Mayor Muriel Bowser met with the uh, ANC, where, yes, these concerns were brought up, and they wanted to come together to come up with strategies on how they can make D.C. a safer city for people who visit here, who live here, and who work here. Now, a large part of the discussion, once again, discussing public safety, violent crime. However, though, the mayor continuing to insist that compared to last year's numbers, violent crime overall is down from uh, is down this year now. But many people who were in attendance, you know, they say it doesn't actually feel that way, especially with carjackings, some of which have been deadly. The bill called Secure D.C. is currently scheduled for a second vote before the D.C. Council scheduled for tomorrow. It would, in part, extend the length of statutes of limitations for certain crimes, toughen the city's gun laws, and crack down on retail theft. Meanwhile, though, I spoke with some people this morning who say, you know, they don't have much confidence in a strict public safety bill because they don't believe it will do much to help curb uh, the crime in the city. It's really hard to say crime is going to happen. We have to get to the root cause, though. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't address why people are doing things, then it doesn't matter what laws you pass. I think it starts in the schools. I don't know. I think, like, a lot of the crime and a lot of the, the, the poverty rates, it starts with the education center. So if I could wave a magic wand, I would put money into that. Um, and if it helps, it helps, but got to try now, part of this massive bill will also introduce new felonies, extend pretrial detentions, and establish drug-free zones. Now, when it comes to tomorrow, council members are likely to propose additional amendments before ultimately passing it. And then if it does pass, it goes to the mayor for her signature for a final approval. So we'll just wait and see what happens. All right, Aisha, thank you. And that vote she's talking about comes as 70 businesses, groups, and industry associations have a letter out to Mayor Bowser and other city officials. They say, quote, the city council should take immediate action to target the small group of organized and repeat criminals responsible for most of these violent offenses. Some of the groups signing the letter include the National Association of Broadcasters, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and Federation of American Hospitals. You can see the entire list. It's scrolling right here on your screen. So far this year, there have been 27 homicides. That includes a college freshman killed in a hotel on New Year's Day, a former Trump official killed during an armed carjacking just last month, and a 15-year-old found shot to death in an alley last week in northwest D.C. In the last few weeks, four officers have been shot in two separate incidents, both resulting in hours at long barricade situations. Carjackings, also a major concern in the district. They more than doubled to 950 from 2022 to 2023. Again, that final vote on the crime bill is expected to take place tomorrow. Marissa. Well, Holly